dean of the state of Florida and also the dean of the Orlando Grant School, Dr. Edward Nixon. Thank you very much. I'm indeed happy to be with you. Always in class and to hear the gospel of the kingdom expounded upon <coughs> in such simplicity. Simple enough to where even a fool cannot err therein. As we always tell you that this is a school and it's not a church. And a school is a place where you come to learn something. And we instruct you to bring pen, pencil, paper, make notes, and we give you the opportunity to question the things that be spoken unto you. And I tell you this, make me prove everything I say to you, or you are not obligated to believe it. Now why we speak it to you that way is because this teaching is not the result of a natural-minded man's concept or opinion, <clears throat> but it is direct from Yahweh, our Elohim, into your heart and into your mind. With no man in between. The things that we speak to you, it is for the salvation of your inner man. That part of you that animates you, that part of you that causes you to live, move, and have your being within the spirit of Yahweh Elohim himself. I have a problem. Now that's the one that we are speaking to. From unconsciousness <laughs> to consciousness, to the spiritual reality of the purpose of Yahweh, our Elohim, operating down through the ages and dispensations of time or down through the worlds. And that's what the previous speaker was laboring with you so hard, bringing you on down from the beginning of Yahweh's purpose, manifesting through the dispensations and ages. Now the word age means <coughs> also worlds. Now the world has this world that you come, that you live in, in according to Yahweh's purpose has ended two times already. <clears throat> two times. Now you are down at the total consummation our destruction of this natural world that you live in. And it has already ran its course. And now you are to be transported on into the spiritual world. The <coughs> kingdom of immortality. You'll walk around in a mortal body into a physical, natural creation. And this mortal body is to be transformed from 
become mortal to immortal. Immortal. That means as your spiritual body. And this natural is to take off the natural and put on the spirit. Now that's mm -hmm. what makes this be at the end of this world that you are receiving a spiritual vision. It is a spiritual revelation. And Yahweh has declared the <coughs> we have declared the end all the way from the beginning. In the beginning, the first creation was a spiritual creation. Then the spirit creates the physical creation, which is the one that you live in. And now it has to return back to the spiritual creation. The natural has already ran its course. Let's read our theme song in the scripture of Romans, the first chapter, 19 to 21. Romans 1, 19 and 20. Mm -hmm. Because that which may be known of Yahweh. Now you can know something about Yahweh. Yahweh is spirit. Okay? Now you can know something about spirit, which is Yahweh. Read. Really. Because that which may be known mm -hmm. of Yahweh mm -hmm. is manifest in them. Now it's already manifest, and the word manifest means <laughs> seems. It's already manifest in you. It's manifest in us. Now that's what the previous speaker was trying to get over to you. You see? His spirit, which is God, or Yahweh, is in you. Now, if you're going to know anything about spirit or anything about God, you see, then you're going to have to find out where God is. And then when you find out where he is, then you're going to find out he's in you. And then you're going to come to the reality that if you're going to know anything about it, it must be revealed within you, not outside of you. Because that's what he is. And he has to reveal himself, listen, within your heart and within your mind. That's where he has to be revealed at. He, he, he can't be revealed outside of you. That's what he's in you for, is to reveal himself within oneself, not without it. And that revelation is not going to come by you reading the Bible or by you studying some religious book. Because nine times out of ten, what you read outside of yourself is not always the reality. And if man has anything to do with it, then it's corrupt. You see? So therefore, the whole purpose of Yahweh has to be revealed within you. And that's what our first aim is. What is it? To help you. That means every one of you in here. To find what and know. Now he's not lost. Spirit of Yahweh is not lost. You see? So now what we're here to do is to help you to find Yahweh. And then after you find him, then you go on to know him. Really? As he really is. Not as you imagine him to be, but as he, Yahweh, in you, really is. And what? Absolutely exists. And how he actually exists. 
today. Now, let's go back and pick up Genesis 1, 26 in your Bible. Because now, here you are a man, or here you are man of time. <coughs> Meaning this, that you have man, you have war man. You see? Now you are the one that Yahweh made in his image after his likeness. And if you remember, the previous speaker on the floor had read, for we are his what? Oh. Offspring. So now you are the offspring of Yahweh. You are the offspring of spirit. You okay. <laughs> okay, read. And King James Version. Mm -hmm. And God said Wait a we, we didn't finish Romans 1, 19 and 20, and then we're going to come back there. Because that which may be known. Of Yahweh is of, manifest in you. Of Yahweh, now that's manifest in you. Now that's manifest where? In you. Because that which may be known of Yahweh, of God. Now we use that title, God, because it's in many of your Bibles, and then new people come into the school, and that's all they know is God. Lord, you say, but now Yahweh is his name. <coughs> because that which may be known of Yahweh is what? Manifest, manifest in you. It's manifest in you. And the word manifest means what? Maintain. It's made seen within you. Read. For Elohim has shown it unto me. For God of Yahweh has already what? Showed it unto me. Unto them who? That was the children of Israel. 3,500 years ago, after he delivered them out of the land of Egypt, you say, and manifest himself to them as they were standing around Mount Sinai, you say. Now all of this have already happened, you see. Now it's your time to come to that knowledge and understanding, you see. Because that which may be known of Yahweh is manifest in you. But Yahweh now, is showing it unto you. Read. For the invisible things of him. For the invisible things of him, who is Yahweh Elohim. Read. From the creation of the world. From the creation of the world that you live in. Read. Are clearly seen. Now here we have something that's invisible, clearly seen. Now well, see you as a natural man, you can't, you can't deal with that. You see? Because you have always been taught that something that is invisible, you can't see that. For instance, now there is air in this room. Now that's invisible. Now can you see it? Now see, the natural man can't deal with that. It's difficult what he reads this out of the book, which is called the Bible. Say, no, I, I, I just forget that. Say, God, now that just can't be that way. But what you're reading that the Holy Spirit put in there, had written in there. Now, that in, for the invisible things of Yahweh are what? Are what? Clearly seen. Really. You can understand. And you can understand invisible things, which is Yahweh Elohim himself. And you can understand it really by the things that are made. Now, now you see, but you're going to have to take the things that Yahweh made in order to understand and to know Yahweh, who is spirit, who is invisible. Now, that's the root of the game that Yahweh has set up. Now, if you want to know Yahweh as he really is and as he actually exists, then you're going to have to take what the Creator himself have laid down for mankind to take to become knowledgeable of him. 
Now, any other way you go, you're going to come up with a theory, opinion, and an imagination and wind up with a great big hallucination. Now, Yahweh has already laid everything down in his creation. And you, as mankind, is his prime creation. So therefore, you look at all outside of you for God. And looking all over the world for God. And you haven't found him yet. Now we're telling you why you have not. It's because you haven't taken away that Yahweh has set up for you as mankind to come to know him. And to understand him as he really is and as he actually is. So now Yahweh has come down now to help you find him. And then after finding it, then no. Now then we're going to have to start with the first man. Because that which may be known of Yahweh is manifest in them, for Yahweh has showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood. What? By the things that are made. Now, Genesis 1, 26. Now see, now we're right at the man now. We're right at you now. Now we're going to start with you. As Yahweh started with the man. Now here you are the man down here now. Now we're going to start with you and show you what he is. See now it just don't make sense. You're going back and telling me all about Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel. You understand? Except you can come down here and show me now. So now let me be Adam. And let me be Eve. Okay? Did that bring it just about up to date? <laughs> Great place. And God said. And God said. Now, who is saying and God said? Now, Moses. Well, how do Moses know what God said? Where did Moses come in the picture? You see? <coughs> Oh, look like we're going to be with it a while. <laughs> okay? You're going to have to get me Exodus 24. <clears throat> 24 chapter, beginning at the first verse. And listen to me, you're going to have to get me some. Where he said he made known his ways under Moses and his actions of the children of Israel. Exodus 24.1. And he said unto Moses, And he said, Now listen. And he go up unto Yahweh. Come up where? Come up into Mount Sinai. Read. Thou and Aaron. Now here's who you bring with you. Now Moses, you come up. And you bring Aaron. Nadab. You bring Nadab, your brother. And Abihu. And Abihu, which is your two nephews. Read. And 70 of the elders of Israel. And you bring up 70 of the old men of Israel. And worship ye afar off. And you let them worship afar off, Moses. Read. And Moses alone shall come up. But shall Moses. Come near Yahweh. But Moses. Now here you alone, you come up near me. In other words, you come on up into the midst of the cloud. Now here Yahweh standing there talking to Moses face to face as I'm speaking unto you. All of the God that there was in a physical body, the creator of heaven and earth and everything therein, is standing there talking to Moses and telling him what to do. Said, so I, now how do you know that? By divine vision and revelation, that's how I know. Say, so, well, now that's what you say. You say God <coughs> was talking to him face to face. Let's get it in the scripture. And let's get it more than two places. Yes. Exodus 33 and 11. Exodus 33 and 11. Maybe you better write that up there on the book. And the Lord. And the Lord. And the Lord who is Yahweh Elohim. Spake to Moses. Spake unto Moses. Face to face. Face to face. As a man speaketh unto his friend. As a man speaketh unto his friend. You get the point? Now here the Lord is, or here Yahweh Elohim is, in a physical body back there, speaking to 
Amen. Face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend. You got another one? Yes. Numbers 12 and start 6 in your mouth. Numbers 12 and 6. And he said. And, and now he, he who, Yahweh Elohim said. Hear now my words. Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you. Now he's speaking to Israel. If there be a prophet among you. I, Yahweh. I, Yahweh. Will make myself known unto him. I will make myself known unto him. In a vision. In a vision. And will speak unto him in a dream. And will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so. But my servant Moses, now he's not that way. Who is faithful in all my house. Now he's faithful in all of my house. Well, how are you going to do Moses then? Really? With him will I speak mouth to mouth. Huh? With him I will speak mouth to mouth. Hey, that almost in the book. All right, then. Deuteronomy 34, 10. Deuteronomy 34, the 10th verse. And there arose not a prophet yes. in Israel. In Israel. Like unto Moses. Like unto Moses. Whom Yahweh knew <coughs> face to face. Whom Yahweh, whom the Lord knew face. Now listen. Am I looking in your face or are you looking in mine? Now is your face natural? Is my face natural? Now the man in the house, do you see him? But the one that's speaking is in the house, speaking out of the house. Okay? All right, now. Now he, he tells Moses face to face. Now Moses, you take Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and seven others, and you bring them up in the mountain. But let them stand afar off. But you, Moses, you come all the way up in the cloud. Read. All right, now we're going back now. You see? We're going now to 24th chapter of Exodus, the 9th and the 10th verse. Bring it up, Moses. Now here Moses is carrying out what the Creator told him to do. Then went up Moses and Aaron, Aaron Nadab, Nadab, and Abihu, and, Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and seventy of the elders of Israel. And Wait. they saw the God of Israel. Now here they saw the God of it. Now they saw the one that was in that physical body, talking face to face to Moses. In a fleshly physical body. Now what they are doing is having a vision of that spirit man that was in that body. And when he went up on top of that mountain and Moses is following him on up there, he just transfigured or taken off that physical body and that inner man stepped forth. That's the real man. Now that is the Lord. That is the Lord God. You say, read. And they saw the God of Israel. And they saw the God of the Elohim of Israel. Read it. And there was under his feet. Now here that spirit man has feet. Now if he made the natural man in his image after his likeness, wouldn't the natural man have to have feet? Romans 1, 19 and 20, so you take the natural to understand the spirit. Is that almost right? Yeah. And that was under his feet. Creed. As it were, a paper for the sapphire. And he stone. said, Heaven is my throne, but earth is my what? Footstool. Make that right. Standing right on the earth. There's nowhere else for God to be. He created a creation. It's his, isn't it? Yes, Your physical body is his creation, isn't it? Yes, Well, wouldn't he have to get in it? <laughs> it's his creation, isn't it? <coughs> he have more authority to get in it than you. It's his creation. Now, if you make a suit for yourself and a dress for yourself, would you tell somebody else your head could wag? Would you? No. That's your creation, isn't it? Then don't you step in it? And don't you put your name tag on it? How about that? All right. Now, why do you do that? <coughs> you would go out here and buy yourself a brand new car, would you? And then tell somebody else, he ain't do that. You can have 
then you didn't buy it to yourself, did you? Yeah. Don't you get in it and drive it? Yes. And that's right. And how you drive it, that's your business. Nobody has a right to dictate it. So you drive it too fast, you're going to tie it up. <laughs> if I desire to tie it up, it's mine. What you got to do with it? Is that almost right? <laughs> now, let's at least come along. <laughs> <laughs> And you let them say yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> then after he get out of sight, you still going to do it like you want to do it. That's like it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And they saw God, isn't it? Now they saw God. They saw y'all with Elohim. Now let me hear, can't nobody tell you nothing about a God if you have never seen him. Is that all goes right? Now once Yahweh revealed himself to you, then you don't need nobody to teach you nothing. You get the point? And you don't need nobody to give you no book to teach you nothing either. Because he's the one that taught you. Now I kind of look at him, you understand? Now you know somebody. And you are acquainted with somebody. Do you need to find a book on somebody? To read some about them? Is that right? Are you listening to me? All right, read up. Then went up Moses. Aaron laid out in the body of the seventy of the elders of Israel. Now that's almost seventy four men, is it? Yes. And they what? Saul, the God of Israel. Now you got seventy four witnesses of men standing here looking at you. Read. And it was under his feet, as it was written on the sapphire stone. Yeah. And as it were the body of heaven in his clearness. Now look, have you ever seen a clear physical body? And if you ever seen one, you know what? That would be the last thing you saw, wouldn't it? Well, that's not normal. <laughs> There's somebody come walking to you and you looking through. You won't be walking toward him long, will you? <laughs> you talk about it. It's not moving on out, will you? Ray played. And upon the nose of the children of he laid not in his hands. Now he has feet, he has a body, he has hands. You see that? Ray. Also, they saw God. They saw God. And they ate with him. They ate with him and they drank with him. How was it? Spiritual eating. Now that's what you call communion. Now that is spiritual communion, not cracking the grape juice. You see? All right. They saw him, right? Now we better get another witness on that. Now from here, listen, down to here, it's 1,500 years apart. You see? Now the previous speaker just told you that. Yahshua back here, this man they called Joshua, that was the Lord. That was Yahweh. <coughs> now over here, he's going through the lords of the Virgin Mary, and he said, think not that I'm come to destroy the law of the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but I come to do what? Fulfill. And fulfill means to complete, finish, and bring to an end. Now you can't fulfill something if you have an institute. And Yahshua the Messiah being the author, and the finisher of our faith. So this same one is back here. Now he, he this time he has come through the Lord through the Virgin Mary and grown up in the world. And then he goes into his ministry. Now let's read, please. Now he has to fulfill what he instituted back here. Read. Matthew 17 and 1. Yeah. And after six days, Joshua taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother. Now watch. Now see back here, 1,500 years, you got... Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu. You see? Now, Aaron is the elder, Nadab, and Abihu are two brothers. So now the correlation, now this is way back in Exodus. This is back in the old part of the book. Now, over here in the, what you call the New Testament, here the same thing is repeating itself, which went on back here. Now, the principle, the principle never changed, but the manifestation will change, but the principle never. Yahweh Elohim, he's the prince of all. All right, now let's see if the same thing is going on here in Matthew's what? 17. 17 chapter that went on back here in Exodus the 24th chapter. 
Read. And after six days, Joshua take a Peter. And after six days, Jesus, who is Joshua, take a Peter. James and now John. Peter brother. is the elder, just that like Aaron is the elder. Read. James and John being brothers. James and John being two brothers, that's Nadab and Abihu being two brothers. Read. And bringeth them up unto an high mountain apart. Now it's a it's a mountain here, just like they had to climb the mountain here. And the seven others at the base of the mountain, just like you have here. Read. And was transfigured before them. Now what does transfigure mean? To change or to change form. In other words, taking the physical body out and showing that inner man. Read. And his face did shine as the sun. If not, is the sun clear? Now his face shine as the sun. Now remember, it's a clear body back here. So the same thing has to be over here. The principle. Read. And his raiment was white as the light. And his raiment or his clothing was what? White. white as the light. Is that clear? Yeah. The raiments would be the body, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Or the clothing. All right? Read. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elijah talking with him. Uh-oh, now here we have Elijah, who truly is John the Baptist. So now, I don't believe that. But we'll take your own Bible. I don't care what time you got. It shows you that John the Baptist was alive. All right? Now, here Moses is. Now, see, Moses had been dead for 1,500 years. But now here Moses is appearing in the mountain, in the cloud. Just as Moses was back here in the mountain, in the cloud, seeing that spiritual form. So now here he has produced Moses, and John the Baptist, who is Elijah, had already had his head cut off, and now he is appearing there in heaven with him. Maybe you better pick that up in the 16th chapter, the last few verses, before you go to the 17th chapter. When it says, what would a man profit to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Matthew 16, 26. Matthew 16, chapter 26, verse. Now here Yahshua was standing there in a physical body, talking with his disciples, just as he was back here in a physical body, talking to his disciples, just as I was standing here, talking to you in a physical body, or through a physical yeah. body. Read. For what is a man's prophet? Now you tell me, what is a man's prophet? If he shall gain the whole world. If he gain the whole world. And lose his own soul. And lose his own soul. Now the soul is dead. <laughs> And, it, and the whole world is natural. Now, what is a man prophet to gain the whole world and then turn right around and lose his soul? Now, the soul is spirit. The whole world is natural. All the money that's in the world. So you can have all of that. You're still in chaos and confusion and more chaos than you are not having. Read up. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul. Now, just what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Now, everything a man got is natural, mm -hmm. but the man's soul is spiritual. Mm -hmm. Now, what? Now you can have all the money in the world. Now, how are you going to pay for your soul? Now, wrong guy in church, in these church, now they tell you, bring the money, you understand, we'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. And you so, they, the people are so foolish, they go on and give giving all they got. Sure. Right up. Sure. For the son of man. Now, are you listening now? Are listen very close. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father. Shall, now he's prophesying. Now his disciples is standing there and he's talking to them. Read. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels. With his angels. Let's see. Close. Read. And then. And then. He shall reward every man. According to his works. According to his work. Read. Verily I say unto you. Now he turns on and says, Verily or truly I say unto you. Read. There be some standing here. In other words, see, they were standing. And he's standing there talking to them. And he just looked at the twelve. He said, That be some of you standing here. <coughs> and I'll say this to you, that be some of you sitting here. Read. Which shall not taste of death. Which shall not die. That breath of life will not enter you. Read. 
till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Until you see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Ready? And after six days. And after six days after he made that statement, he just walked on off and they followed him. And six days later, ready. Now so take a Peter. Now then he said, Pete, come in. James and John and brother. John. Now they were the ones that were standing there with the other twelve. When he said, There be some of you standing here that shall not die or taste of death until you see a vision of the Son of Man is coming king. And what? Ready. And after six days, six days after he made that statement. Then you take a Peter, James, and John. What? His brother. His brother. And bring them up into a high mountain apart. The same thing. Get back here. Get back. 1,500 years. From here. He gets the same one. Doing the same thing. Really? And was transfigured before him. And he was transfigured. In other words, he just, as they walking on up the mountain with him. And he just taking the flesh off and just checked. And when they, when that happened, they just blacked out. You know, you can't, you can't stand out there and look at that sun and look straight up at it. And then look back, you see little stars and everything. Is that right? Now, this is the sun that created this issue in. This is the ESO in that created the whole thing. Read And he, he's outshining that. Read And his face did shine as the sun. As the sun. Read And his raiment was white as the light. White as the light. Read and behold, they appeared unto them. Moses. Now you see, where, where did he get Moses from? He told you, he said, there'll be some of you. Standing there, that you have a vision of the Son of Man's coming kingdom and the glory. And John the Baptist, he was telling the Jews before Yahshua <coughs> came to him, he said, the kingdom of Yahweh is what? Hand. Is at hand. And then over in Matthew 6, is it 6, what is it? Where it said the kingdom of Yahweh is in man. Luke 17, 17 20. Luke 17, what? 20. 20. And he, and when he was the man of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come. Now the, 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 the Pharisees questioned in Yahshua, when shall the kingdom of Yahweh come? And here's what he told He answered and said, yeah. the kingdom of Yahweh cometh not with observation. Now somebody looking up in the sky for God to come jumping out of the sky, Jesus to come back out of the sky. And then he said, and then he said now the kingdom of Yahweh cometh not by observation. You know, go up on the observatory to look at something to be day. Ready? Neither shall they say. Neither shall they say. No, neither. Lo, the Messiah is here. Or lo there. Or lo he's that. Uh oh, uh, wait a minute now. You see, now over in 24 chapter of Matthew, he says, Many shall come in my name and shall do what? See, listen. Read up. <laughs> For behold, the kingdom of Yahweh is within you. Uh oh. Now, where is your kingdom at? Yeah. Now, you mean to tell me you're not going to fly off to go there? Uh -huh. You're not looking for Jesus to come back to sit there? That's where it's been all the time. Now, if the spirit of Yahweh is in you, what do you think the kingdom is? And you pray the prayer. You know what Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come thy glory. Done. Done in heaven. You understand? Thy kingdom come. Now, you still praying for the kingdom to come? When you find out it already is in you. Oh, my God. Now, you see? Now, right now you see the same thing is going on here. It's going on here. It's going on with you now. All right. Now what we have established now, you see, is what kind of body he had. What kind of body he had. That's a clear body. A clear body. Now let's go back to Genesis. Now we're here to help you to find and know Yahweh, our Elohim, as he really is and actually did. And God said. That let us make man. Now do you understand who said this? Because when he called Moses on up into the midst of the mountain and he saw that spiritual body, then Yahweh Elohim showed Moses how he transformed or changed from this spiritual body into this spiritual or intangible tabernacle or sanctuary. Now this spiritual sanctuary and its threefold makeup is the explanation of this 
great God. Now this tabernacle had a most holy place, a holy place in a court round about. That's proving that the Godhead or the supernal nature is Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, one day three or one, by the threefold maker of that intangible, which is a spiritual sanctuary or tabernacle. Now all of this is coming to Moses by divine vision. Then he changed from this form back into this Elohistic form. And Moses sees the creation being drawn out of his <coughs> side. That's why you only see half of him here. So the whole creation of the heavens and the earth is coming right out of him in day by day logical sequences. And he's showing and revealing this to Moses. Now on the sixth day, Moses said, and he's telling the 70 elders down here when he was up here and what he saw and what Yahweh Elohim said. And Moses is telling him, and Yahweh Elohim said, read, let us, let us make man. Now that means that God did not have said that. Because God is singular. God is singular. But now here this Elohim is saying, is speaking and saying, let us. That means he's both male and female. In principle. In the spirit. Let us, what? Make man in make, our image. Make man, now man is singular. In our image, read, after our likeness. And let's make this man after our <coughs> likeness. Now, if you, if you take the title God, God is singular. Now, in the King James Version, it reads, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Now, now, how are you going to understand anything that way? You see? Now, your Bible translators, they knew that it wasn't God. <coughs> But they take that out of scripture and go way down in your commentary part of a study Bible and they put down that Elohim. And Yahweh Elohim said that us, this man, in our image, after our likeness, what? And let, him, let them have dominion right. over the fish. Now he said, let us make man. Now he said, and let what? Them. So now this man is going to be made. <laughs> male and female. Now remember, because that which may be known of Yahweh is already manifest in me. For Yahweh has showed it unto them, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are what? Clearly seen, being understood by the things that are what? Mm -hmm. Now he said, let us make man. <coughs> so now you want to understand about anything about God, you want to find it, and you want to know it. Then you're going to have to be taught to start at yourself. Come out of the church. Come out of the kingdom hall. And start at yourself. That's why this is a school. And not a church. And you come to this school. That you might be taught what Yahweh is. And when you find out where you is. Then you stop running from here to there. And then you will continue. Where you learn your first lesson, started your first lesson. And we start you off in kindergarten. You see, and this is the elementary chart, and this is the garden. Did you put Adam and Eve, the man in the garden? Yes. So we started in kindergarten. So you just start at the man. Is that all, folks? Right. That's right. You get the point? And that was him saying, let us make man. In our image, after our likeness, is that right? Read. And let them have dominion. No, 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 you see, now that's just all out of portion now. See, because now you run on off and say, oh, him said, let us make man in our image after our likeness, and then let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and the fire. See, you haven't told me that. See, because you have left something else. Is that some kind of mark there at that? And all him said, let us make man 
that I am its after our likeness. Is that right? You got a semicolon now. Is that right? Now what does semicolon mean? Now you see, now you don't get no explanation now. Bring it to the and other men said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Is that right? Semicolon. Is that right? Read. And let them have... Now see, you done ran all over everything. Now you never did anything with the semicolon. You just kept on reading. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to understand everything. How you going to join those thoughts together, huh? You get the point? Yes, it's good. See, now I didn't come out of this grade, and I did that and that. <laughs> you get the point, but I didn't find out no better until after the vision and the revelation come. You get the point? Now watch, now read it now. And when you get the semicolon, stop, read. And Elohim said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Semicolon, right? Yeah. Now let's get explanation. Genesis 2 and 7. And Yahweh Elohim formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Now, did you see that? Now, that, that, that just about put it together now. Does that complete it? Now you can start back. Now, let it be. And let them have dominion. Now, now you see, now you can jump right back to Genesis 126 after the semicolon. Now, you understand? Know you get the point? Now, does that make sense now? I know he said, let us make man in our image after our likes and do that thing. You have made him yet, now what you going to talk about let them do something for him? You have to tell us what you made the man out of. And y'all will have informed him that from the dust of the ground and then breathe and the man dust of the breath of life, Bradley came and in his soul. Is that almost right? Now look up breath. Look up spirit. <coughs> now this is a school of the highest learning that you can attain with it. Now see, you say, well, look at it. Get away from Adam back there. Come on down and tell me something about me. That's where I'm at. Read. Spirits. What, what you looking at? Spirit. Spirit. All right, what is spirit? A Latin spirit is with me. Breath. Uh -oh. Courage, vigor, the soul, life. Uh-oh. And you yeah, yeah, know him. Say, let us make man in our image after our likeness. And he put on the man for the dust of the earth. And then he did what? Breathe into his nostrils. The breath of life. Now what does spirit mean? The life principle. Especially in man. Oh, my goodness. Now that's what spirit. Is that right? So now here you got the man standing there like a statue, right? The man can appear. You form him from the dust of the earth. Now the man is. Is that right? Now when the baby come out of the mother's womb, is that right? Getting his body completed a normal birth? Yeah. Is that almost right? So then can't you see this man here was complete and shaped and formed and then Yahweh got in the man. And man did start becoming in his soul. Is that right? Yeah. The man started breathing. What is God? What is Yahweh's spirit that he made? And then he got in. And man started breathing. Ain't that right? And the spirit which is God we got in the man. Ain't that right? Tell what you still haven't brought it up to me. Now didn't I just tell you when you come out of your mother's womb? Your body was already completed and the doctor's banged you on the back. And the minute the doctor, you understand? Know yeah. See that that's a thing, man. You understand? Know yeah! Yeah, ain't yeah, that right? Mm -hmm. Now that means the creator got in there. Say, well, I get you. I got I get you one thing. I get to you one thing. So I didn't come from the dust of earth. Don't you tell me you did. <coughs> what is this y'all looking at? Huh? The dust of the ground. Is that right? That's, it, 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 don't you take a bath? Yes. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get when you take a bath? A ring around the tub. Is that right? Well, I'm going to get myself a black tub. <laughs> you still going to get a ring around the tub. Is that right? So what is the ring around the tub? <laughs> Nothing but that. Is that right? It means that's a 12 and 7. Now, when the, now you see? Now the spirit. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now watch. Watch me close. Now, breath means what? 
spirit. The spirit is into the man. The Yahweh Elohim fallen from the dust of the ground. And man became a what? Living soul. Now when he created the man, he created him on the sixth day of the creation in Moses' vision. So he left the hole in the ground six feet. Now there's a six feet hole in the ground. Heard that right. And the man stepped forth and when he walked off, he looked back there. Six feet deep. Now, is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence? When the man died, what did you go right back and got the body? Where did you go? Oh, what did you go? How you did? Oh, what did you go? Got to put him right back before he came. Read that right. Read. The priest has his crop of time. Uh huh. Then he tried the dust. Return to the earth as it was. Now, you see, right there, the green ashes. 12 and 7, go right back to Genesis 2 and 7. Now he formed the man from the dust of the earth. And he breathed in his nostrils the breath of life. What did he breathe in? Spirit. Then shall the dust do what? Return to the earth. Return to the earth. As it was. As it was. And the spirit shall return unto Yahweh who gave it. Now wait just a minute. Now what is the breath of life? Spirit. Ain't that right? Yeah. Now the spirit didn't come from the dust of the earth, did it? No. Ain't that right? But the body came from the dust of the earth, ain't that right? Mm -hmm. so, that, so then what did he give Adam? Yeah. Ain't that right? Then shall the dust return back to the earth whence it came, and the what? Spirit shall do what? Return back to Yahweh, that what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now don't you start, don't start with me. <laughs> now that's the same way that it is. Aren't they still, people still dying, and aren't they still, you're still marching? Yes. And when they go to the cemetery, yes. ain't that right? And they put that dust in there, right there in the hole. Now you know it's the Lord that's keeping it in the house. <laughs> ain't that right? Yes. And I don't care how much you run around in that room and I'm mad that you love it. Honey, I love you to death. Oh, honey, oh, darling, I love you. Honey, oh, please, I love you. Wake up one morning, she laying up there beside you and ain't breathing. <laughs> the honey. The honey. Honey! My nigga, you gotta get out of bed real quick, huh? <laughs> Ain't that right? And who the next one we call? Get it out of here. I thought you said you left it. <laughs> I'm getting taken on out there and throw dirt in his face. <laughs> now, you know that's pretty bad. Now, would you? Now, with somebody living, and you tell them, you know, would you pick up dirt and throw in their face? Ah, uh, <laughs> would you? <laughs> you get your phone? There's something in it. Now, look, folks, we are not dust collectors. <laughs> Do you take your vacuum and vacuum your throat? And after you vacuum it all up, do you go in the bag and say, I'm going to take the clean dust out of you? And I'm going to say it, yes. And that's your dirty dust, I'm going to throw it away. What do that do? <laughs> all this dust. Ain't that right? But now you want to go around and say, oh, boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to heaven in this body. Now that's dust collecting. But no, but uh -huh. the dust is back here in this world. Now in the next world, it's going to be spiritual. Ain't that right? Ain't no dust catches. Ain't that right? So you might as well turn this dust loose. Get rid of the quick and grab the spirit. All right? Now, then shall the dust return to the earth from which it was, and then shall the spirit return back to Yahweh who gave it. Now, Yahweh is the spirit. Ain't that right? That's in the man. All right, I want John 3, uh, the third chapter, and the left version. Now here Jesus, who you call Jesus, who truly is Joshua, over here talking to a smart man called Nicodemus, and here's what he said to him. Read. Very, very, I said, I won't want to say you must be born again. John three and three. Joshua answered him and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, yeah. except a man be born again. Except a man be born again. Now look, you've already been born from a natural standpoint. Now how are you going to be born again? <coughs> it sure can't be natural. Now here a man, he wanted to know when Joshua spake that to him. Read what he said to him. Except a man be born again. 
We cannot see the kingdom of God. Really? Nicodemus said unto him. Now he's a smart man, a ruler, a teacher. Said unto Yahshua. Really? How can a man be born when he is old? How can a man be born when he's already old? Can he enter the into the second time into his mother's womb? Now, did you see what that smart man said? Now, here yeah, I'm an old man. <laughs> now, am I supposed to get down and go back into my mother's womb? Well, step on that door shut. It was sliding. You don't get back to that. You get the phone? Okay. Ready? Y'all so answered. Yeah. Then on the I said to thee, except the man be born of water uh, and of the spirit, yeah. he cannot enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. Now that you say that, he can't enter into the kingdom. Now what is the kingdom? The kingdom is spiritual. You see? Now that's all I've been trying to tell you. You've been born from a natural standpoint. Now you must be born from a spiritual standpoint. And that's that spiritual man. Amen. Now that spirit man went to sleep and the first man had him. Now it's got to awaken in the second man. So therefore we all died spiritually in the first man Adam. Ain't that right? So now we got to be made alive in the second man Adam after the spirit. Now this is a spiritual birth. You've already been born physically. Now look, that's got to pass away. And it's got to happen very, very shortly. Because it's been taken you and shows you according to chronology which the religious world don't know nothing about. They don't know nothing about agent destiny. They don't even know that the world have come to it in two times already. They don't know that. And now that's why they said, look at here, man. Ain't nothing down there, I don't want to hear that job. And they got the body. And they don't know the world already has come in two times. <laughs> and here you're down here now. So strike out time. Ain't that right? That one is straight through strikes in the ball. In the ball, they make that right. So look, Buster, you're going to hit a home run this time. Ain't that right? Don't you go get put out. And when the, the board of all games is over, you get the point? Say, nah, I don't believe that. All right, please. Let's go back there and get it. And find out. I want the sixth chapter of Genesis, please. And I want over that. And then, and then, and then, and then. That second Hebrew is a very tactic. All right, sixth chapter of Genesis. Now look, now here's the end of this world down here. Read fast. Genesis 6 and 3. Yeah. And Yahweh said, My spirit shall not only strive at man. Verse 9. Six verse And came to pass, when the men began to multiply on the face of the earth, his daughters were born unto me. Now listen, now men began to multiply on the face of the earth. Now look, now the first man after he put the seed of all mankind in it, and he told him, Now go forth and multiply and replenish the earth. And that's why he divided the sexes over here. Yeah. Ain't that right? He put the man on the deep tree, take, take, taking the rib and the womb, and made the womb man. Took the womb and the rib from the man, and made the womb man. Now that's the dividing of the sexes. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Now the seed is in the man. Ain't that right? So now in order for the man to plant seeds, so Adam got to be a farmer. Ain't that right? So that boy got to lay the woman down. Ain't that right? And he got to take the woman and he got to plant the seeds in the ground, in the dust of the earth. Isn't that right? Oh, yes, it's right. And that's the seed of mankind. Is that right? It ain't no more than what a man do. A farmer, don't he dig a hole in the ground? Don't he put the seeds in there? Cover it up? Ain't that right? Ain't that right? The woman don't have the seed in her. It's the man got the seed in it. And he got the planet in Mother Earth. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? And the woman is a mother. Ain't that right? And our physical body is to the Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Now the woman got the man's wound. Ain't that right? And even today, every man has a wound. You don't believe that you ask any man. That's right. Yes, ma'am. See, this purpose of Yahweh is unerring. It's perfection. And it's still going on today. You see, therefore, if what's going on with you now, you go back in and start in the man, and it's just overturning, repeating itself. It's working in you yesterday. That is the thing that makes it infallible. And tell you why. The evidence is on you. You are Yahweh's body. And the whole purpose of Yahweh from beginning 
to him is operating in you because that's him in you operating in a person. All right, read. Genesis 6 and 1. Get you wrong. It came to pass when men began to multiply. And that's what he told Adam and Eve to do. Pour forth and multiply and replenish the earth. Now the world. Now we're down here. Now at the end of the world. And that first day was 1,656 years long. And now here we're down here with Noah. Ain't that right? And Noah now is 480 years of age. Then Yahweh owed him as a pen too. And here's what he told him. Read. And Yahweh said, My spirit shall not always strive with man. Now where's your spirit at? <coughs> in the man. That's where Yahweh is, in the man. Read. Well, that's right. Now that first thing was to help you find the know So if he was in mankind back there, but he ain't in me. And you don't exist, because he's the only one that really exists. Read. And Yahweh said, my spirit shall not always strive with man. Yes. For that he also is flesh. For that in the man, he's flesh. My spirit won't slide with him always. Because all he is ain't nothing but flesh. Nothing but the dust in the earth. Get that right, read. Yet his day shall be 120 years. Now Yahweh is telling Noah right there. That Noah being 480 years old. What he appeared to him. He said, look at here, Noah. My spirit shall not strive with man always. Yet man will be on the earth only 120 years. Is that almost right? right. You understand? If somebody want to tell you, nobody knows when the end of the world. Yahweh knows. <coughs> Yahweh has told you. Yahweh told Noah. Ain't that right? So right. don't you tell me now I'm hitting the end of the world. I don't know what I'm talking about. You get the point? You see? So now Noah preached 120 years. So you had 120 to 180. What you going to get? 600 years old. See, he took, he brought the man in. On the sixth day, he got to take the flesh out. What? On the sixth day. Is that right? Because he set out the path and then, right from the beginning. Is that right? And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done to war. You see, read. And, that, and there were giants in the earth in those days. Giants in the earth in those days. Read. And also after that, when the sons of Elohim came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children unto them, the, the same became mighty men. Stop so holding down a little further about the fifth verse. Fifth verse. Fifth verse. Fifth verse. And Yahweh saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Uh oh, wait just a minute. And Yahweh saw that the wickedness of man was what? Great in the earth. Great in the earth. Everything that is imaginable, the man's doing. Man was man, woman was woman. Ain't that right? Don't you stop messing with me. When you rise up, I'll take care of you now. Read. And all of them saw that the wickedness of man was great. The wickedness of man was great in here. Read. And that every imagination of the Every imagination was and the thought. A man's heart was what? Was only evil. Only evil. Continuous. Ain't that right? No obedience at all. No respect at all. But a spirit in him. Ain't that right? Read. And now he said, I will destroy man. I will made. destroy man whom I have made. Ain't that right? Read. From the face of the earth. From the face of the earth. Both man and beast. Both man and beast. And the creeping thing. And the creeping thing. And the fowls of the air. And the birds of the air. For it repented me that I made him. For it repented me that I've even made the man. Ain't that right? Not the birds of the air and the fish in the sea. Never have broke universal spirit law. It's the man that he made in his image and likeness. Ain't that right? His most prime creation. You understand now here? He have corrupted himself. The very imagination of his thoughts is sinful continuously. He said, I'll destroy him. Ain't that right? You get me Matthew 24 chapter right here. Ain't that right? <coughs> you see? Now at the end of the world, down here, you understand the second time, I hear the disciples got to ask him a question. And that's a question you need to be asking now. Oh, here, read. Matthew 24 and 1. Read. And Yahshua went out and departed from the temple. From the temple. And his disciples came yes. to him. Now his disciples coming to him. To show him the building. Now they want to show him some physical building. They've been in the temple. Now he walks out of the temple. And he created himself walking around in a physical body. And when they get him outside, so good master, look how beautiful that building is. Oh, look at the costly stones and all of that stuff. And he's in the temple walking around there. 
and a physical boundary. And he jumped high over this what he said. And Yahshua said unto them, uh -huh. See ye not all these things. Now they're trying to show him something. He's just look. Don't you see all of these things? Verily I say unto you. Truly I say unto you. There shall not be heavier one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Not anybody that built in the temple for him. <laughs> but the creator himself, the one that created the world and everything that we and they want to go out here and get some little eighteen million dollar building and say, Jesus, come on down here and meet God. Kingdom Hall and all that stuff. You understand? When the heavens of the heavens of the heavens cannot contain his glory. Ain't that right? And they want to build some old brick building and board out of clay. You understand? And talk about them going here to worship God. You understand? It's a physical body that he's in. They're looking outside for him. Ain't that right? Or going to some food. You understand? Trying to tell you something. You understand? Read. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives. And he went out and he cut it on out. And went on out there and set up on a mountain that he had created. And as he went out, he went on up on the mountain and he sit there. The you disciples know? came out. Now his disciples coming to him privately and say, Tell us. Look at him, man. Come on to that. I tell you, you make me do what I say to you. They come to him and say, Look at him. Now you tell us something. When we shall know. these things be? We want to know. Now you told us back there that shall not be one son upon another that shall not be thrown down. You understand? You drop out and run out on us. But no, yeah, we want to know now. Where will these things be? You and tell what us shall be the sign of thy And we want to know what's going to be the sign of your universal revelation. And of the end of the world. We want to know this too. Tell us what the end of the world is going to be. And Yahshua answered and said unto them, Take heed. Take watch yourself, brother. That no man Don't you see let. You. Don't you let no man I don't care where you come from or what he profess himself to be. Reverend Bishop Elder Pope, you understand what I'm talking about? I don't care. You, you understand? Don't you let him deceive you. Really? Why? For many shall come in my name. Because just a few going to come. There's just a few going to come. Many. many. Not a few. For many shall come. Many shall come. In my name. In my name. Saying, I am the Messiah. Uh, look at here, I'm the anointed one. And shall deceive many. And shall do what? And shall deceive and shall many. Do you see him abused. Many. Many. And you shall hear wars. And you will hear wars and hundreds of wars. See that you be not troubled. Don't be troubled. For all these things must come to they pass. They must come to pass. But the end is not but yet. The end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nations. Nations shall rise and against. Kingdom against now you didn't have me out here. Now you asked about the end of the world. Now the 24th chapter of Matthew, 21st chapter of Luke, and the 13th chapter of Mark. They're saying the same thing. Right. Read on. For nation shall rise against nation. Yes. And kingdom against kingdom. Kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famine. And there shall be hunger. hunger. Ain't that right? All over the world. Read. And pestilence. And what is pest? Look up this year. You're going to have to come to school. You know that? You're going to look ahead. This is the place where it's being taught. Ain't that right? Read. And the earthquake. Oh, don't you start nothing. In Darius. Because if I said it'll be one for a night, so Read. All these are the beginning of sorrow. All oh, these are the beginning of sorrow. Not get pestilence. Pestilence. Read. Be violent or fatal contagious disease. Wait a minute. How come they can't find a cure for gonorrhea and syphilis now? How come they'll never find a cure for AIDS? You tell me. I said they never will find a cure for it. I come and he's just spreading all over. See, he spoke that 2,000 years ago. And now they're not pointing it out to you and has been for 14 years. Ain't that right? Yeah. Read. An epidemic of such An disease. An epidemic of such disease. Especially the bubonic plague. Yes. Did you understand? And here the medical science running around here trying to find a cure for it. And I got on radio and television and so said, you won't find a cure for it. Is that almost right? That's right. <laughs> Then when I want to tell me, so well, if they find one, would you come back and be on the show? Well, if they don't find one, will you call me and have me back on it? And then you, I told you the truth to the world. Read. Anything as a doctrine. Anything. Okay. Regarded as harmful or dangerous. Even the doctrine the whole world's teaching is a lie. Did you hear what I said? Even the doctrine. Read it again. 
this doctrine that's going on all over the world, it's a lie. There's a testament. Great. Anything is doctrine. Yeah, anything is doctrine. Regarded as harmful or dangerous. They sound right. And that mess you in out there is very dangerous to you. There ain't nobody had no vision. You understand? Yeah, you ask them about God, no, I ain't never seen him. And they got all kind of titles for them. And here one come and tell you, and showing you what his name is. Proving it, proving that the name is all over you. It's in you, it's all out in the creation. Ain't that right? Nobody, nobody ever, ever told you that and pointed these things out to you, showing you that's the Y and the A. Ain't that right? And there's the H, ain't that right? And you were bringing it. You ain't breathing that other junk you around there talking about Jesus Christ and Lord and Jesus and all that junk. You understand what I'm talking about? You are the offspring of what? Spirit. Yahweh, which is spirit. So if you're the offspring of it, what do you think you got to be? Say so you want to see what God look like? Go look in the mirror. You're his spitting image. Get you in a physical body. And you're made up. One, two, three, head, chest, stomach. You must have all three of them. Why? Because he, Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, these three of what? One. One. Everything about you is made up three, four. Heard that right. That's it. Be clay. Clay. Right when it calls death, deadly. Is that in the Bible? Bless you. Is that almost in there? It's been there. I mean, he spoke it 2,000 years ago. And nobody ever pointed them things out to you. And then you say, well, don't use that Bible. Use this, and I'll take your Bible. I don't care what time you got. It's in there. It better be in there. Because y'all always got it in there to judge you. You said, somebody said, well, don't use this Bible. Use it. Well, say, no, it's in that one. Now, you can't get nothing no truer than that. Is that almost right? Read. For nations shall rise against nations. Now, is that going on? And yes. kingdom against and kingdom. And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines. Famines, that's periods of hunger. And pestilences. And pestilences. And earthquakes. Earthquakes. In various in places. In many places. Read. All these are beginning of sorrow. the beginning of sorrow. Read. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. And you. shall kill you. Ain't that right? See the, see the devil kill me for telling you what I'm telling you that I know. And you shall be hated. And you're going to be of hated. all nations for some. my name's sake. For my what? Name's my name's sake. Name's Somebody name's say name don't make no difference. It's not important. And you shall be hated of all nations. Yes. For my name's sake. For my name's That's not an edgy. Jesus. All right. Possess it. All right. And, and they shall... And then shall many be offended. Now that's why you're going to be hated for this thing. <coughs> Somebody said, I mean, I can't make you talk. You can't try to get yourself to that guy. It makes me do what I call you, did If I come around and call you, you don't need to break rules. And I call you, hey, you old bastard, you understand? You could be ready to knock me on the side of my head, wouldn't you? You said, and then I said, wait a minute. What you want to do? I want to bust your side of call you out of my name. I thought you were told me to make a difference. It don't matter what you call it. It doesn't matter what I call you, does it? And you made his image out just like this. Is that right? <laughs> you're very protective of your name. Now, who do you think about the creed? You know what I'm saying? Your name is just, your name, I don't know what you're saying, but Yahweh's name is over his entire creation. That's right. I don't care if you're Japanese, Chinese, Spookaloo, Blue, or whatever you want to do. You still do. I don't care if you talk to Ching Chong, check off the world, you don't know the other people, you don't know the That's the person, isn't that? All right. Even the Chinese over there, Michael Jackson, name is universal. Even the Chinese over there, said, hey, hey, you get in another country. Well, then Michael Jackson going over somewhere, over in Japan, where they say, Michael Jackson! <laughs> 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 That's universal. Yeah, that I want over that 37 verse. 37. Yeah. Where's that? Where's the days of Noah? 37 verse. But, as, but as, as the days of Noah were. As the days of Noah were. 
So shall the coming of the Son of Man be. So shall the revelation of the Son of Man be. Read. For as in the days that were before the flood. For as it was the days before the flood. They were eating and drinking. They were eating and drinking. Marrying and giving up in marriage. Marrying and divorcing. Until, until the day that Noah entered in. Now, now, now the divorce rate is higher than it ever has been in the world. Ain't that right? They're married and divorcing. Ain't that right? Even a homosexual life. Ain't that right? Man was man, woman was woman. They would pass the law. You can get married if you want. <laughs> Ain't that right? Yes. See the very imagination of man's heart sinful continuously. Ain't that right? Yahweh created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Ain't that right? Yes. Did you understand that? You get the point? Then he'll warm it up over a woman. You are the lower bastard. And here a man standing behind a man. Her, I love you, honey. Look at our dog. It ain't funny. It ain't funny at all. And you'll find out it ain't funny either. Because y'all ain't throwing on me. This is nothing to play with, all right? This is life eternal or a damnation to your soul. And I will not speak to you anymore. Great. And knew not until the flood came. And they didn't know. Until the flood came, and the day of Yahweh came in on them as a thief in the night. Hey, sir. So I'm calling you tomorrow. Look at here, Buster. Tomorrow don't have to make it. In other words, if tomorrow make it, you don't have to make it. Because Yahweh can take the breath out of you right now. And don't you start, and you know he'll do. Yes, I'm out about it, and don't you even speak to me. None of you that way. Don't even come to my face. You are abomination, and you are desolation. And just to see your presence, as Yahweh says, you are neither hot nor cold, and I'll spew you out of my mouth. Just to come into my face with this, y'all, I want a vomit over you. Now, Yahweh told me to tell you that. And here's up above the sun when the star to Man, men around here, women around here, somebody got to pull a trick like that. You are hungry, fool. You know that? And now we're very hot about it, too. And ready to take vengeance right now. Don't even breathe in my face. Read. Now we're talking about the end of the world. Back here today, so don't. Y'all would say, for the very imagination of man's heart, sinful continues. You read on. And you not. No, no, no. Come on out and go back six after again. Okay. And Yahweh, here's what Yahweh, Yahweh gave Noah and his family a way to escape. And he told them what to do. And he makes that second up, making an upper deck, a middle deck, and a lower deck, one door, one window in the thing. Ain't that right? Free! Come on. And, I shall, and this is the fashion you shall make of it. Yeah. Well. All right, drop on to the seventh chapter of Genesis 7. Right? Okay. <laughs> and it is the second year of Noah's life. And it, now look at here, and in the 600th year of Noah's life. In the second month. Now look, he was 480 years old when he told me. In the very imagination of man's heart, he said, and I'm going to be strong, but yet I'll let his day be 120 years. So Noah preached for 120 years. So, <clears throat> so 480 and 120 is what? 600. 600. Ain't that right? Now you know 600 years old. Why, you see how Yahweh works his purpose? He declared the end from the beginning. So he brought the flesh in on the six. And what has he got to do? To yeah. take it out on the six. The principle is the same. <coughs> the manifestation of change. And on the idea of 46, 19, he said he declared the end right from the beginning. Is that right? So when Moses saw the whole creation coming in, the whole earth was covered with water, right? So therefore now, when, when he's going to take the whole earth out, you understand the world out? What is the earth got to be? Covered with water. I ain't that right. So that was the end of that world. Read. And in the 600th year. Of Noah's life. Noah's life. In the second month. In the second month. The 17th month. Did you hear that? Now. now what's the first month? Didn't she tell you that? April is the first month. So what's the second month of the year? May. 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 Why do you think it started raining all around in May? April and May. April showers bring what? Wow. And I tell you, she's been raining. They like that ever since. Ain't that right? So we're in the rainy season now. Ain't that right? 
Ain't that right? You get the Lord. Say what's in your book is right. It's right. You know, you put it together like that. It's that right. It's in there, you understand? It's manifested out here, too. Hey, there is our own through the earth was covered with water. Well, don't you see all this? Is it covered with well, Yeah, I'm sweating all the way down. Mm -hmm. Hey, that right. Since that water was over the blood, and hey, that water over the face of the mm -hmm. don't you stop me with me. You read not in the Bible, and here we are down here. Now, ain't that right? Yeah. And it's being manifested to you, too. You see what I mean? Now, what you need to run to some man for if you know how to go ahead and put the book together like that. Do you need a teacher? Do you need anybody to teach you? So the same one that's doing the whole work is down here putting it out and showing it to you. That's that right. Read. In the sixth hundred year of yes. Noah's life, in the second month, yes. the seventeenth day of the month. Now it is April, May the seventeenth. May the seventeenth. What happened? The same day. The same day. For all the fountains of the great deep broke up. And the windows of heaven that's broke up. That's the open. clouds. That's the clouds. In the morning, in the clouds. Yes. There was the second day of the creation. Then he said, let the waters above be together from the waters beneath. Ain't that right? And the, ain't that right? Yeah. So therefore the clouds just appeared out there. What do you think out there in those clouds? Oh, but war. Oh, ain't that right? Oh, now here it's going to rain for 40 days and 40 nights. Isn't that right? Boy, you know that was talking in a thousand midnights. Isn't that right? And you look out here in front, it's just going to rain a little bit and it get dark. The clouds get dark. Isn't that right? I said, boy, it's going to rain. Well, why is it getting dark? Ain't that right? Because they hit a hole in the water. Ain't that right? If they hit the hole in the water, they hit it, it get the dark. Ain't that right? And look at here, you wind up inside rain and say, boy, it's a cloud burst. So that's the windows of heaven. He opened. Ain't that right? He had that water kept in store from the beginning to 1656 years. Ain't that right? He knew what he was going to do. And he had that water stored up there. Ain't that right? Because he know man was going to have to prove. And he's going to destroy it. Ain't that right? And the rain was upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. Now you know that was a pretty dark 40 days and 40 nights, wasn't it? You understand? Wait. Oh, then we can get me. <laughs> now, what is it? It's going to storm and rain. Do you see white clouds back there? No. Or no clouds that's bitter. Isn't that right? The water leaning from me. Mm -hmm. You understand? That old heart, she's already shaped and forming. And it's out there moving on the face of the water. Just as the spirit moving on the face of the water. Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. But all life is in the heart. Ain't that right? Now, if that was a terrible time back right there, at the end of that world, you think it's bad now? Uh -uh, it ain't bad. You ain't seen that yet. But you just, you just hold on just for a few more days. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to get worse than it ever has been in the history of the world. All right, so now that's the end of that world back then. Knowing that flood. And that's Second Peter 3 and 6 and also First Corinthians 10 and that. Read it. First Corinthians 10 and 11. Yeah. Now all these things happen unto them, for example. Now listen, now here we are down here now. Now why did all that happen now you got it for as an example, read. And they are written for our admonition. And that's what we're doing admonishing you now. Now these are your examples of what went on back then. And now it's admonish you over here. Now you've got violence throughout the whole world, haven't you? In the very imagination of man's heart, sinful continues. It's, 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 it's ten times worse than what it was back then. Thanks, sir. No, I ain't going over there. You understand? Working for the Roman Catholic Church and got no children and everything. Cook don't know. Ain't that right? And the Pope of the Roman Catholic Church is the one got it. No. Ain't that right? Do you understand what I'm talking about? He knew what to run when he got to run. What did he run? The sanctuary. Right? The Roman Catholic Church. And they protected him, didn't they? And then, look at him. The Pope told him, said, come on out. We got it straight with Bush. Everything going to be all right. And all them soldiers standing out there, what do you walk out counting? What do you count? Thieves. What do you call them? The Rosely. The Rosely. He's standing up there. The Rosely. You understand? Yeah, as far as that bastard is shut, man. That guy that you want to catch the church or something. You understand? Send a man out there to murder and to kill and then the dope and extend it everywhere. You understand? Know and they found out millions and millions on top of millions of pounds. 
that he had. Who do you think's going to get the Roman Catholic Church? Ain't that right? That have got rich. That's what the 17th chapter of Revelation said. Ain't that right? That whore that sitteth up on many wants, whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. Kings, presidents, and rulers, that's the kings. Ain't that right? Great on. All right. Now all these things happen unto them for example, and they are written for our administration, upon whom the ends of the world are come. How many ends you got there? Is that more than one? Yes. More ends of the world are come. Did you see that? All right, Second Peter, that's fine. I put the question. Second Peter 3 and 6. Yeah. What about the world that then was? Now here he over here, looking back there, warning the people over here in the beginning of this thing. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water, being overflowed with water, perished. The people perished. Read. But the heavens and the earth, but this one here and the earth that you have now, which are now by the same word are kept same, in store. Kept in store, just like he kept this one in store. And had the water stored up to destroy. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, kept in store. Reserved on the what? On the body. On the what? Um, that he told you about. They said, I'm not going to destroy man. Oh, there is no more body one. But this time, look at here, no. I'm going to burn the whole damn thing. Make that right. Make that right. You ain't that right? Yeah. Good, good, good. And over there in Luke, and over there in 24 chapter Matt, you said, well, you know, he was telling us what's not. The boom will come. He said, there'll be signs in the heaven. Make that right. The moon and the sun. And the stars, is that right? Why do you think you got the sun spots out there now? And all that kind of stuff. Why do you think those are layer? Now it's diminishing. And that, why do you think that thing? You don't go out saying the sun too long. You get sun cancer, ain't that right? Oh no, I tell you, Buster, you won't get worse than that. Ain't that right? Read it off. Ain't that right? Read. Reserved on the fire. Against now his heaven is left and it's not. It's reserved on the fire against the death. Or judgment, ain't that right? That a tradition of unworthy men. Is that right? And then there's one that holds true and unrighteousness too. Ain't that right? So now you see, that's when the world come to an end back there. Now let's get over there, Hebrews 9, 26. Ain't that right? And let's see if it come to an end another time. Ain't that right? Read. 9 and 26. Read 9 and 26. For then must he often have suffered. Now that's talking about Joshua the Messiah, <laughs> whom the world called Jesus Christ. But then must he often have suffered. Since, since the, the foundation, foundation of the world. Since the beginning of the world. But now what? But now what? In the end, In the of, end the world. of the world. Has he, he come, has he appeared to put to away, away sin, sin by the sacrifice, by the sacrifice of himself. himself? Ain't that right? And as it and is, as is unto, unto men, unto men that's the Once first God. man Adam and the second man Adam. And as it is appointed unto men, wants to die. But after, after this, this the jersey. Look at here. When he put Adam and Eve up there in the garden, he told me, he said, look at here, of all the trees in the garden, you can free the eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, don't even touch it or in the day that you do. What he said, I'll kill you, Adam. You shall surely die. Ain't hey, that right? So Adam went on in that tree. Did he die? Yes. All right, then. Now that's the man he's talking about. Ain't hey, that right? Now Paul put it here for us by one man sin in the world. Death by sin. Therefore, death was passed upon all men. What kind of death? Spiritual death. Passed upon all men, but until the law, sin was already in the world. Sin is not imputed where there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses. Spirit of death from Adam down to Moses, even over then. That what? And that not sin. sin. After the submission to Adam's Adam transgression, who, who is? is a figure? So this first man Adam is just a figure of the second man Adam, which was to come. So the first man Adam really died at the tree for his bride. Ain't that right? So the second man Adam got to come in and die at the tree for his bride. The cross, what is it made out? Made out of wood. Where did the wood come from? It come from the tree. Ain't that right? And over there in Galatians it says, Curse is everyone that hangeth on the tree. Is that right? And after Adam had disobeyed him back here, what did he tell that? Adam, curse is the earth for your sake. 
that says, oh, why is the curse? And it's that right. And the one you got, that's the curse. But if you come knowledge that the spirit is in you, now that's the blessing. Ain't that right? You know what I'm saying? But no, he ain't in me. I got to go out here and find him. He's coming back. Well, hell, where he got to come back from? It ain't been in you all the time. Well, I didn't talk about Jesus coming back. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? And they're talking about that's that same. Look at him. What the scripture said, Jesus in you is your only hope of glory. Now, they got it way up down there somewhere coming back. You ain't got no hope there. The Lord, you got him up above the sun, moon, and star, and looking for him to come back. But the Spirit's already in you. Wake up! Come knowledge of it, because eternal life is for you to know the Father and the Son. Is that right? He promised he'd put his Spirit in you. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Yeah. So that's where it's at. But you're looking for him to come back somewhere. Looking for him to jump over here on some mountain or somewhere. And you praying to the east and all that kind of stuff. Ain't that right? You understand what I'm talking about? Wake up! He's in you! That's an abomination. But you thinking he's well off somewhere. And if, he, if he's gone somewhere, what are you doing walking around here? You understand? If he's gone, you supposed to be out there in the cemetery. Ain't that right? Wake up and come out of that stupidity in here. Ain't that right? So therefore now you see, but once in the end of the world has he appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. And as it is already written, it is, you understand? What? It is appointed like a man wants to die. Man is more than one. Ain't that right? But who is the man? That's the first Adam and the second Adam. Ain't that right? The first man and man Adam died to bring us down into sin. The second man, Adam, come and died to take us back up out of sin into the Holy Spirit and the thing ain't that right. Not easy to me. So after Adam had eaten and disobeyed, he was put in the church. So after Yahshua had come and died, been resurrected, hold out his Holy Spirit, you've been in the judgment ever since. Ain't that right. Now you judge what I say. Now, now, here, now since you see that's come to an end here, come to an end here, now here we're down in second Peter in the third chapter. Now he said back there, tell us, when shall the end of the world be? And what sign shall we look for? Now here's what's fixing to happen down here. It's already happening. This second epistle, my beloved, I now write unto you. What? In both oh, which oh, I stir up your pure mind. That's in the stir up your what kind of mind? Mm -hmm. Not your physical carnal mind. It's your pure mind, which is your spiritual mind. Read. That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before yes. by the Holy Prophet. Yes, read. And all the commandments of us, the apostles, read. of the Savior, Joshua the Messiah. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers. Now, what does scoffers mean? See, you start telling somebody, except say, oh, you believe that mess, man, I don't believe that. Young. Walking after their own lust. And they're just walking after their own lust. I'm saying. Now, now you know what it means by lust? That's the flesh. The lust is the flesh. That's the lust. Walking after their own flesh. Or their own lust. Saying, so, where's the promise of his coming? Or well, since the fathers have fallen asleep, all oh. things continue as they were. From, from the, the beginning, beginning of the creation. creation. But now look at here what the Holy Spirit said. But, well, but this for thing, this they will be, are ignorant of, that, that by the word of Yahweh, the, word of Yahweh, the heavens were on the heavens were of old, old, and the earth, and the earth standing in the water, of, of the water, and, and, and water. in the water, yes. by which the world that, that then was, being overflowed with the water, yes. perished. Perished. But the heavens and the earth, which but, are now. But the heavens and the earth that you are living in now. By the same, by the same word, word. Are kept, kept in soul. Reserved under fire, fire. Against the day of judgment. Read. A perdition, a perdition of, of unholy men. But be loved. Be lo now look here, my beloved. To be you that see ignorant. and to you that understand. Don't you be ignorant of, of this what? One this thing. one thing. That, that one, one day is with Yahweh as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as one day. Look at him. Yahweh how many days did he flat. Wait a minute. How many days did he show Moses that he created the heavens and earth? One day, two day, three day, four day, five day, six day, seven day. What did he do? Rest day, right. right. How many days of that week? One day, two day, three day, four day, five day, six day. Turn right back on. One day, two day. Why do you think you believe me? Trying to wake you up. Ain't that right? That's seven days in the creation. Ain't that right? 
every week, ain't that right? This is just starting all over again. Ain't that right? Read the great side of over there. And look at here. You don't believe that? Now, let me tell you how the pattern that I showed you. You showed there was seven steps in the answer that right. Seven steps to perfection. Is that right? Look at here. When you come into the world, ain't that right? You had to come on in by seven steps. Ain't that right? First, you was a sinner. Ain't that right? Then the next thing you are an emperor, ain't that right? Next thing you are a baby, is that right? Next thing you are an emperor, ain't that right? Next thing you are a child, an adolescent, and then where are you? Oh. Ain't that right? You are come through seven stages yourself. Ain't that right? Do you understand? And the end is the class from the beginning. And when you reach your peak of seven, ain't that right? See your hair start falling out? Going on back down as you were from a child. You start out walking, Jane, walking on them. Teeth start falling out, ain't that right? Why the teeth got to start growing out? Because you come in without teeth, ain't that right? There's only three kinds of teeth you can have. That's the what? The baby teeth? And the what? Permanent, Permanent teeth. teeth, ain't that right? So that's all you got is two. What about false? That's three. Never did the dog get over here now. She wasn't that right. Hmm, my goodness, ain't that a dog? Ain't that so? You got to have three. You know what I'm saying? Unless you want to go your way all the way. You ain't too happy, is it? You know what I'm saying? I got to do something better than this. You're always sitting around here with a little boot shop. You got to go to <laughs> Say, somebody got to help me get some keys. <laughs> Say, I can't get back this way. Ain't that right? You know what I'm saying? Ain't that right? You know what I'm saying? Ain't that right? 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 Ain't from the beginning. You understand? Now you know God. And you learn something about the purpose of God. And sit back within yourself and look at the purpose that's manifested in yourself. Listen to yourself. So I don't believe there was nobody back there and died there in the end of the night. Go on. And then you shout, see you in the morning, ain't that right? Reach back and get that cover and cover yourself, ain't that right? <laughs> Well, I come on you and bury yourself. And then you ran out of this. And just call him his name, ain't that right? Somebody try to wake you up and then wake you up and you say, man, that thing you dead to me. <laughs> See, it's telling you you're dead. You know what I'm saying? But soon as the noise, you're dead. So wait a minute. You see, then you find yourself back in this world. Ain't that right? You get so hard and you don't know who you are. You just left so I just had a step for I didn't know where I was. You was out of this one. Ain't that right? Did you see what I'm talking about? The heart beat everything slow down. You see what I'm talking about? You get it? Everything slow down. Now like what you just did, you died. You buried yourself under the cover. And you resurrected, didn't you? Now don't you try to mess about it. Y'all will change your son into the world and die. And be buried in the resurrected by school. And I'll put this Holy Spirit in there. You understand? Did you know something had to die in order for you to have something to eat today? I don't care what you eat. So what did you have for dinner? So I had a steak myself. Don't you know that cow had to die? In order for you to live? You see what I'm talking about? Somebody said, well, you didn't have to die for me because I'm going to get dead myself. Didn't you have to break that plan off? That stopped us from living, didn't it? Ain't that right? So all the way down the line, something like that. In order for someone to live, ain't that right? Now that's natural. You take the natural to do what? Spirit. And if I told you earthly things, and you don't believe them, how can I tell you heavenly things? Ain't that right? The things that you do with them, that's going on in your life. You understand what I'm talking about? You don't take no live chicken and put it out of your mouth. You do. You got to be dead, ain't you? You ain't no animal, are you? You see? And then after he's dead, you don't eat him raw, do you? You take him and cook him, don't you? Ain't that right? That's right, you see? You, you can wash him before you eat him unless you just... Let him get killed. You see what I mean? You see? And you said that you masturbate that meat. And then that bowl of food just goes on now. It's very, very on your altar. Ain't that right? And it's a fire in the heart of your altar. Ain't that right? And that food is mashed and cast, given the acid treatment. 
and all the pure substance and the protein and the meat yeah. and the carbohydrates has been extracted from that and it resurrects and gets into the blood and going out through our kidney. Thank you. Do you understand what I'm talking about? That's a death, burial, and resurrection. Ain't that right? Did the sun rise this morning? And yes. you? Well, why would you deny that the S.O. died here? Thank you. Did he ascend on back to the heavens? Did that issue then ascend back to the sea? Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Well, in the scripture, he, the gospel of the Messiah, resurrected, ascended, and now he said. Mm -hmm. okay. right. So that son went on up there to his knee. Okay. And this evening, what did they, you get the news back when they said the sun set mm -hmm. at about 6 or 5 this evening? Mm -hmm. Now, do you know what? Do you know that son have never moved? Mm -hmm. And nothing happened but the earth gets revolved around. Mm -hmm. It just have the appearance. Hey, Jack Ryan. Mm -hmm. Did you understand what I'm saying? I know you all know what I'm saying. You understand? But all that's doing mm -hmm. is just testifying to Yahweh sending his son on now. And him dying in death. Hey, Jack Ryan. Right? But the love, be not even this one thing in one day. This was Yahweh as a thousand years. And a thousand years is in one day. Now that's seven ages, seven dispensations, and all that's in the Bible. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Is that right? <laughs> that's seven days in a week. That, ain't that right? Do you follow that seven wonders of the world? Is that right? And what else is that? Seven continents and all that. Why do you think that? Because seven is represented as And that's perfection. Ain't that right? And you feed you everything from a natural standpoint. In other words, all, every time you see a seven, he's beckoning you to see him. Ain't that right? Every time you see a three, he's beckoning you to see him. Nine divine attributes made up that spiritual body. Ain't that right? Nine planets out here in the heavens. Ain't that right? How many systems you got? Nine. nine. Ain't that right? And every time you see the nine, say, come on, that, that, that's, that's pointing to me, my son. Come on, it's pointing to me. I'm telling you about me. Ain't that right? Because that which may be known of God will manifest in you. God will show you. Well, the invisible thing yeah. from the Christian world are clear. And you have an understanding about the thing that he made. He made it. Now stop looking outside of Joseph for him and come to learn what he really is and as he actually is. 521, what did it say? And do what? Oh, man. That was good. And tell Luke that that is what? That's right. Now look, and I, if I have a proof of what I said, and if you have anything different than what I said, you have the opportunity to come on up and straighten me out. Yeah, by the way. Thank you. 